From the Mount Washington Radio Group Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie. Police in Freiburg, Maine say they recovered a diamond ring worth $25,000 that was stolen from a residence in Bartlett, New Hampshire. Detective Sergeant Josh Potvin says the ring was turned over to police after a 16-year-old girl from Baldwin, Maine ended her relationship with a man who had given her what he called a promise ring and the girl's father had the ring appraised and suspected it had been stolen. Police questioned the former boyfriend identified as 18-year-old Rod DeRoche Jr. of Denmark, Maine, a house cleaner, who first allegedly told Chief Phil Weymouth he found the ring in a parking lot and then in a second interview allegedly confessed to stealing the ring from a home in Bartlett where he had been doing some work. DeRoche is charged with unsworn falsification and is due to appear in district court in Bridgeton April 15th. He may face additional charges in New Hampshire. Potvin thanks the parent for turning the ring over and says he hopes returning it to its rightful owner brings some sense of closure to the victim. He says his department continues to investigate the case with law enforcement authorities in New Hampshire. U.S. Representative Carol Shea Porter of New Hampshire says members of her staff will hold office hours today in Carroll County. She says her staff will be available to assist constituents with issues they may be facing with a federal agency or local concerns. Office hours will be from 9 to 10 o'clock this morning at the Albany Town Hall on Route 16, from 11 o'clock to noon at the Bartlett Town Hall on Town Hall Road, and from 2 to 3 o'clock this afternoon at the Jackson Town Hall on Main Street. Shea Porter encourages anyone who needs help with issues related to the federal government like veterans benefits, Social Security, home mortgages, or Medicare to stop by. For more information or assistance, call Olga at 603-335-7700. In Maine news, two Maine lawmakers want some explanation about narrow provider networks that exclude some doctors and hospitals. Tomorrow, the Insurance and Financial Services Committee will again look at measures that were introduced in light of the decision by Anthem, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield to offer a health care plan that excludes six main hospitals. York Democratic Representative Paul McGowan wants to require insurers to clearly show in their marketing and information packets hospitals that aren't included in plans. Anthem, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield says it had to trim access to some hospitals and doctors to hold down costs. Democratic Senator Don Hill of Cape Nettick is also backing a bill that would require insurers to disclose to providers why they weren't included in the network. In sports, first time 18-year-old Conway Olympian Sean Doherty and his teammates on the U.S. biathlon team finished 16th Saturday in the men's relay at the Olympic Games in Sochi, Russia. Manchester Monarchs center Nick Shore scored twice to help his Monarchs to a 4-2 win over the Worcester Sharks yesterday afternoon in Manchester. And after losing 5-4 to the Monarchs on Saturday, the Portland Pirates lost again yesterday as the St. John's Ice Caps scored five goals in the third period in Lewiston, beating the Pirates 6-5. In the weather, becoming mostly cloudy, a slight chance of snow showers this afternoon. Colder with highs in the upper 20s. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 25. Becoming partly cloudy tonight, lows around 9 above. West winds 10 to 15. Wind chill values as low as 3 below 0. And partly sunny in the morning Tuesday, then becoming mostly cloudy. Highs in the mid-20s. From the Mount Washington Radio Group Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie.